What's going on everyone? I am back here with another unboxing video for you guys today. <clears throat> and today I'm going to be unboxing the Airport Extreme. Uh, this is Apple's uh, variation of a wireless router. Uh, you can also pick up the Airport series in the Airport Express as well. Uh, which does not give you as much speed and range uh, that the Ex uh, Airport Extreme does. Uh, but anyway, the Airport Express is just a cheaper variation of the router. Uh, but anyway, I picked this up from my local Apple store uh, for about $214 after tax. Uh, so yes, this is a the base price is $199. Uh, but... For me, it's not too much money, considering uh, how much uh, speed and range that this particular router uh, offers. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, yes, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the box. Uh, so here's the front. It says Airport Extreme with a picture of the device on the front. Uh, Apple logo, like usual. On the back, we have some quick info to specifications. As you can see right there, it says 199. Uh, so this gives you the ports, uh, the inputs and outputs. Uh, shows you some quick info up here and stuff like that. On this side, another Apple logo. Top, absolutely nothing, and bottom, pretty much nothing. So uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So I, let me get my knife here so I can cut the plastic seal. Not exactly sure how to get into this. So let's break the plastic off first, uh, and go from there. Alright, let's get all this off. Okay. So, I assume I just pull it up. Let's go ahead and see if that's the way. And it is, so I lift up on the top cover. And it should, there we are. Alright, so that portion is off. And right away, there is the Airport Extreme itself, right on top. So let's go ahead and take that out. Set it off to the side for just a second. Uh, then we have a little package in here uh, giving some more details about stuff. That's just a little plastic thing. <clears throat> so let's pull this off now. And underneath here we have the power cable. Uh, this is just a standard power cable that you just would plug into your outlet and then that's basically it. So pretty cool. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we have the setup guide, which I'm going to need to read this because I've never actually owned a, an airport uh, wireless router before. But anyway, so this is the setup guide. Uh, it has uh, some detailed instructions in there to help you get it set up and ready to go quick and easy. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the router itself. So as you can see, it has an elongated design, uh, which is essentially what Apple's claiming is that it's taller to enable more wireless range. Uh, so it basically is taller to uh, be able to reach um, more of the devices that you have uh, connecting to this particular device. Uh, but if you happen to get the Airport Express, it'll actually be the same exact size um, but it will be about about an inch thick, about right there. So well over more than half of this in size. Uh, but it, like I said, it doesn't give you nowhere near the amount of range and speed as the Express uh, does. Uh, so uh, on the top, we have a Black Apple logo. Uh, on the bottom, we have another Black Apple logo, uh, but it's kind of glossy. Uh, now... I'm going to go ahead and peel the plastic off of this. Got quite a bit of plastic on here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now on the back here is the inputs and outputs. So we have three gigabit Ethernet ports uh, so you can hook up uh, any of your wireless or non-wireless devices to this particular router so you can hardwire uh, your device to get internet that way if that's your preference. Um, then you have the 
internet input, so you'd put, connect your internet in with a giga, gigabit ethernet cable to your wireless, uh, or not technically your wireless um, modem, but uh, to your modem or uh, basically just the modem. I got m kind of a mind blank there. But anyway, uh, that's the input for the modem to your wireless provider. Uh, and then you have the power port or power input. On the right next to that, you have a little tiny button right there, which is the reset button. Uh, and then also, we have a USB uh, port, so you can connect a USB device to this router and actually have that device shared uh, with all of your devices connected to the Wi-Fi network. So, for example, you can plug a hard drive into this USB port, uh, and then that hard drive will immediately be accessible uh, via... The wireless network so if you have a mac or an iphone or something you can see or store stuff on that hard drive and back up to it uh, wirelessly so really really nice uh you also i forgot to mention you can also pick up what's called the apple airport Exp um, times capsule i keep getting kind of tongue-tied uh the apple airport time capsule which is exactly the same thing as this particular router uh, just the fact is that it'll have a 2 terabyte or a 3 terabyte hard drive built right in. Uh, so you don't have to have an external hard drive via the USB port. Uh, but it does jump the price up significantly. Uh, the 2 terabyte version starts at $299 and the 3 terabyte star uh, version starts at $399. So pretty hefty price, but uh, for those of you who want a hard drive built into the router, you can go ahead and pick those uh, two options up. Uh, but I went with this one because I don't need a router built in, or a hard drive built in. Uh, but anyway, that is basically it of this unboxing video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Uh, thumbs up the video, always appreciated. Uh, comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. Uh, I'll be sure to get back to your guys' questions as soon as I can. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, uh, the wireless capability of this router is... Uh, 80211 ABGN and AC wireless configurations. So any devices with those network configurations uh, will work, well, which is very nice. Uh, so now, anyway, once again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, yes, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.